I'm John Buchanan, and in this video, we're going to look at low latency mode. Now, your computer CPU works harder and harder the more you add to a project. And there are some things that you can do to a project in Logic to really make it have to work super hard. And that's fine, unless you want to start adding new MIDI parts played on your MIDI keyboard to a project which is starting to get a bit laggy. And we refer to this as latency. It's the gap between playing back the sound of the audio compared to triggering it in the first place. It's how hard your computer is having to work to calculate what to do next. And as your projects get big, you might find that latency becomes a problem. Fortunately, there's a mode that we can use can get, that can get you around that project, which we can switch on and off. We can turn it on when we want to make new recordings, and we can turn it off again when we want to hear the full mix that we're working on in all of its glory. So low latency mode is what we're going to be talking about in this video. So we're going to look at latency in a couple of ways. The way that I've introduced latency into this project is that I've put the adaptive limiter on the output channel. Now, this is Logic's look-ahead processor, which uh, sort of provides extra volume at the output stage, but it's a bit of a beast when it comes to latency. So in the moment you uh, sort of add the adaptive limiter to a project, you'll find that latency becomes an issue. And I'm going to demonstrate exactly what I mean. I've got a track here. What we're going to do is to add a pad sound to it. And I'm going to try and trigger this pad right at the beginning of the track, and we'll see what happens from a latency point of view. Here we go. So I've got four held notes there. And what we're going to do is we're going to open the editor and we're going to discover that all of them are late. If I zoom in on this project, you can see straight away that all four notes start after I want them to. Now, of course, there may be a degree of user error in this. It could be that my timing is not perfect, but the fact that they're all consistently late would suggest that maybe Logic is introducing some latency, which um, is reflecting the way in which it's processing these new MIDI parts. And that becomes a problem even more specifically when you decide that you want to add something which is more staccato. I've got a short little synth sound here. And you can probably even hear and see the relationship between me playing a note and hearing it play back and the fact that there's a gap. But that will become particularly problematic if we try and add a staccato phrase to this project. That's a horrible thing to try and do, to try and play in time. So you can see, again, I've got the same problem that all of these notes that I'm trying to add in this little rhythm that I'm trying to program, they're all late and it's it's just too hard. So what I need to do now is to either turn off the adaptive limiter, which means I'll have to turn it back on again if I want to reinstate it afterwards, or fortunately there's this get out of jail free card, which is called low latency mode. And what it allows me to do is to switch all of this problem off for the time that I'm trying to record. So what we need to do, first of all, is to go and find this mode and add it to our project so that it's constantly there as a button that we can turn on and off. And in order to do that, what we need to do is to customize the control bar. Up here at the top of Logic, we've got all of our transport controls and we've got our display here showing us all kinds of things. And we've got some tools over here on the right hand side too. And this on the right hand side is where low latency mode can be added. And to customize the toolbar, I need to control click anywhere in the toolbar here and then this customize option is at the top. And when I select it, a whole range of functions that exist within Logic can be added here, which I can make part of my project. And the one that I'm interested in is low latency mode. And the moment I check this box, a button for it will be added. It's this one here. So I've checked that box and now I've pressed OK. Now, when I turn this on, this little orange light lights up. And what this is going to do is to temporarily bypass anything which is adding latency to the project. And straight away, down in the bottom left-hand corner, you can see that the auxiliary buses, which are producing effects and processing sounds in real time, have been sort of temporarily bypassed. They're not playing anymore. They're not adding the latency that they would actually naturally add to this project. So I'm going to delete the uh, little staccato pattern that I was trying to program when I was working with latency. And I'm going to try and replay it now and see whether or not my timing's a bit better. Thank you. 
Okay, that's much easier. If we look at the timing now of the part that I'm trying to play, I can see that, of course, there's still some human error in the performance. Nevertheless, the first note of these bars is bang on the bar line, which is kind of where I want them to be. Now, of course, now that I've played this part, I want those effects back in so I can hear the mix more fully. I can simply just toggle low latency mode back off. And of course, this part was uh, less difficult to play because it's a pad and it has a much more um, smooth start. And of course, I can get round the issue of these notes being late by simply quantizing them. So I can quantize those in quarter notes. These ones I'm going to put in 16th notes. And I've got a new part for my project, which is hopefully now going to be sort of locked um, in time with my piece. So in this video, firstly, we've identified latency. We found out what it is. We found out that the CPU load of our computer can add a delay to performances that we might want to add. And that obviously that's a problem. So what we've then done is to learn how to add low latency mode as a button within the control bar at the top of Logic so that we can toggle it on and off, making sure that we activate low latency mode whenever we want to make new recordings and turn it off again when we want to go back to hear the mix in all of its glory.